Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Divine Journey 2 playthrough. Uh, last episode, we ended up opening up some rifts to get our Void Seeds. We went ahead and finished the 15 that we needed, and we got 15 more. So you can see, we got like 31 Void Seeds now, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think we will continue on. There are the primordial uh, pearls or whatever there. We did not get one of those. And repair the primordial pearls with a tool poppet. Each poppet adds one durability point. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get uh, we didn't get the the thing. Um, using your void seeds and materials from Bewitchment, craft some cold void seeds, cold void metal ingots, and finally some void metal ingots. What a process. All right. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm like, oh, okay. So there's a fluid transposer. I was like, we're going to have to set up a searing thing again. I thought we were over that. All right. So we need eight of those and then eight of these. Ooh, I need to get that research and... Void metal nuggets to make that. Is that? Oh, no. There it is. Void metal ingots, and then you add fiery that stuff. All right. So that's not too terrible. Um, we do need how many? Yeah, that is four cold iron ingots per seed. All right. Well, that's... Kind of typical of this pack. Uh, so that means we're going to need 32 old iron ingots. Now, I am... Is this a... Oh, that's right. Thaumium. All right. So that's not the end of the world. Although Thaumium does require a, a little bit of... Yeah, like 32 of these. Yeah, it's going to require some stuff that... Uh, you can see we are getting low of. Um, I may do the Percantio. I already have stuff set up for like Blaze. Blaze Powder gets Alchemy. Like I don't need to use the seeds, um, but I have been crafting up so much Thaumium. I have really gone through the the um, the the V crystals, uh, but I can get it from like say here if I want to, and. Uh, Precantio is pretty easy with the spell dust, which is I've got that like fully automated. We'll craft up like thirty of those. And nothing, none of that is overly complicated. All right, so I guess uh, yeah, let me craft these up, and I might need to. Yeah, I might. I might need to. I just need to, I don't want to do like 87,000 rifts if I, because <laughs> rifts are kind of annoying. You have to jump a whole stuff and spawn it and then close it kind of thing. I guess I could, why don't I go do the, the two, I have two of them here. I might as well use them up and see if I can get a thing, but I don't want to spend 87 hours trying to find a primordial pearl. Uh, if there is a easier way to get it. Also, I forgot that. Uh... Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. You saw it here. I didn't do anything funny to get that. So that's kind of funny. Does that ever happen? All right. Well, there we go. We got our void thing, which we can repair. I'll throw that back in the A system in case we need it. So we need to repair the primordial pearl. That also is how you get this, apparently. We'll pop it. All right. So... It's uh, just a, 
a bunch of recipes, it looks like. It doesn't seem overly complicated. We did do the other poppet, which is kind of similar. I have I don't have magical leather automated. Everything else is pretty much automated. So but yes, yeah, those uh The problem is I don't really have I don't have the aspects part of it automated, so I kind of have to do that manually. That's kind of the issue. Uh, all right, so let me repair this up, and we'll get that. Oh, we get three tool poppets from that, so we only need to craft up one, and then and we'll get the the stuff. So just a bunch of crafting. All right, got the cold void metal ingots. Uh, not nothing too crazy. These are easy to get with the V crystals. Uh, quite a bit of me metallum, so it just kind of takes a while to draw all the resources. But uh, easy, they're like easy resources to get. Uh, like metallum is, you get fifteen from one iron ingot, so it's pretty easy. Uh, it just kind of takes a little while to melt it down and then use the thing. Um, also, I don't know if you know, but like. The distance doesn't really matter. As soon as it starts pulling from the thing, it, it starts ticking up. It doesn't matter, like, how long it takes for the little wispy thing to go over. All right. There we go. There is our void metal ingots. We do have this. Oh, man, it wants four of these. All right. Um... Well, that's cool. If we have those yet oh yeah chemical planner we don't have that yet uh but i was like that looks like maybe maybe like a primordial pearl that it doesn't get used up so you'd put it in the or maybe it has a i don't know like does it have a durability also i'm like i have a feeling these don't work in the <laughs> they don't work in the thing do they i have used that before haven't i I'm just going to throw one in there to see. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, I am crafting up those tool poppets, but hey, while we're, we're doing, I'm like, let's, I don't think this is going to work. No. <laughs> no, it does go in there, but uh, yeah, it doesn't repair. I didn't think it would. That would have been funny, though. Carx breaks Divine Journey 2. All right, uh, tool poppet. Yeah, still crafting up. Uh, I do need to, again, manually craft some of this stuff up because I don't have it fully done. Uh, what are we looking at? The two? I'm assuming this takes one durability. Is that what I'm, I'm kind of guessing? That's, I don't, I'm assuming it's not going to consume the whole thing because that, be, that, would, that would make me sad. Um, so, yeah, let me get the tool poppets. We will... We'll, um, we'll, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? Uh, we will, uh, repair this primordial pearl. And then, uh, we'll see. There's also the, um, the next tier up of the, the void smelter we might want to get. But isn't there the, uh, Um, isn't there like the multi-block one, or is that Thumbcraft Four? Maybe that's Thumbcraft Four. I'm thinking of. Yeah, that is because that's the one that draws. Yeah, it draws like Ignis from a node, doesn't it? That's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Thumbcraft Four. Whoops, I'm getting them confused. All right, let me uh, just do some craft in here. There is the cool puppet. Not too bad. Uh, I ended up moving the arcade workbench. I don't know why I had it all the way over there. Yeah, so I just moved it over here. Right next to where all the, the things get put to craft up. Uh, the cool thing about this quest is we get... Oh, I didn't realize that. We get three tool poppets for that, which is cool. What is that? Primordial Fragment. That, I'm assuming that probably has a crafting. Yep, yeah, it has some crafting. Uh, let's do 
that. That. All right, I need one more. I thought that was going to be four, I kind of guess. But uh, we do get... Uh, it doesn't need to be fully um, built for that. Uh, should we do this first? I may want to do this first, actually. Oh, I need to... We should probably have uh, stuff now. Artifice. Alchemy. Yep. Need a void metal plate. I'm just thinking how crazy it would be to like move the entire base to the void world. <laughs> that would be so much work. <laughs> that would be crazy. I don't even want to think about like how crazy how much time that would take me to move this entire base over to the void world so it was all in one dimension. Oh, that's black iron. I was like, which one is that again? All right. Um, void metal plate. I hope this isn't going to take it. Is that... Do I just need to hold it? Please don't consume that. No, we consumed it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, well. All right. Uh, yeah, because I was thinking this... I mean, this gives like 95% efficiency, so it just makes it like even less we're losing even less of the things i'm breaking down and that's kind of like what's taking me the longest to craft this stuff up so yeah i'm thinking maybe we'll do this so i do need four of those um i do believe i have the oh i have four i probably got that from a quest to be honest like i don't know why i would have those Also, I still need to bring over my uh, my farm, but I think I'll do that when I start getting the um, the mystical crops. I think I'll do that when I move the table. It's, it's not over there anymore. I was looking for it. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, when I start doing the tier three crops, which I think we'll do, I think we'll do that after. After we get the infusion, I don't know. I really want, I'm working towards this. This is what I really, I think that would be cool because all those tier three seeds require that and it's just kind of a big pain. So I think that will make that easier. All right. Yeah. So as you can see, you get a lot of these constructs from our quest rewards. All right. So, yep, I'm going to need one more void metal plate because the thing took it. Dang it. <laughs> Those are a bit of a pain. Although I do have cold iron. I got some from the thing, so it might not be as bad. Uh, oh, actually. Yeah, I melted. I set up a recipe to melt this down. The four ingots in a magnum crucible and do that. So it's actually pretty quick. We thought that was only a few seconds, but uh, this part of it is the annoying bit of it. All right, there we go. I did try to make a recipe for this, but it's kind of funny with the pearl. So but I did also repair it. I didn't want to accidentally lose it. I actually is going to do that. There's no point to have that. It's it's really weird with the, the thing. If I wanted to do that, I would have to do like the... Um, like a uh, crafter type recipe, which maybe we'll set up. All right, so got two new ones. I did craft up the void, and it is so much quicker. So I forgot, like, it's quicker and it's more efficient. So, yeah, I'm definitely glad I did that one. All right, so it looks like this goes this way. But also, we need to go this way. So, it doesn't really matter which one we do. So, this... Does this have, like, a durability, or is this, like, per... 
Does this get consumed? Uh, it might. Which is a little bit annoying. Uh, all right. So I may need to do... Yeah. It seems like every single one of these recipes requires a different condensed thing, which... I mean, it's making us really use, like, every single one. It is what it is. It's just kind of par for the course for this mod pack. And then amber blocks. Yeah, we have plenty of those. I don't know if I have that auto crafting. I don't do that. There we go. Although now I'm like, yeah, now I have stuff sitting in the A system. <laughs> Taking up a drive. Uh, a disk drive slot, which I don't really need, but, uh, all right. Uh, so that is that, that stuff's, we'll just get that. Nothing too crazy. And then the other one, what is this? Here you have a gauntlet. I have, oh, gauntlet with the impetus, impetus conductor attached. So, uh, Is that I don't know. Well, uh, I need to. Well, I'll craft this up. There's vacuous. I don't think we've done vacuous yet, have we? Oh, we do. We just did a vacuous in there. All right. So two of them share that actually. And that is one of those. Okay. So I need to craft up another one of these because that other rust requires four. But everything else we are good. All right. Let me craft this up. Right, I am crafting up the first one, the Impetus, whatever it's called, Impetus Call, Impetus Cell. And uh, one thing I didn't account for is that uh, with the speed things, it actually was 249 with the aspects because it adds a bit with the increase. But yeah, these hold 250. And plus, I just threw some extra stuff in when it started draining out the the jars if you're really worried you could always throw down a second jar but all right cool there is that one ding cool oh no i did realize that had <laughs> oh well i crafted up another one because i knew i needed five. Oh well i didn't realize that gave it i should look at the that gives void metal all right cool uh, so, I do have the vacuous, rare earths. Yeah, we have all that. I do need to break down this stuff again. I was debating whether to craft up another void smelter, but... Should I? I can't remember all the... Just a bunch of... I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. The, I mean, this one is a little bit annoying with the void metal. But uh, for the most part, I'm just basically putting a bunch of stuff in here, and that just uh, takes a few minutes to break down. We'll definitely have to speed that up, I'm sure. All right, uh, let me get this crafted up. None of this stuff is difficult at all. We'll be right back. All right, there we go. Not too difficult at all. And there we go. All right, cool. Now, don't know what the heck these do at all <laughs> because I haven't really looked at thomic augmentation. But uh, we'll take that. So, what do we need to do now? What is this? Are these the ones that. Uh... Oh, this. You could like. Is this the ones that like craft up a portal and you can just walk through them and. Go between the uh, things. I don't want to like use that if it if it does use that. I want to continue. Um, so craft a caster's gauntlet and apply a impetus conductor to it by crafting. Now charge the impetus cell by right clicking on a rift. Its power will be drawn into the glove. All right. So I need to craft this up. Ectoplasmum thomium. 
I, I, don't mind, yeah. I should just craft up like stacks of thomium. <laughs> uh, all right. So that is that. Um, you need to go if you had a previous token. Okay, so basically I need to craft that up and then we need to put it in the caster's gauntlet, but I need to craft up the next gauntlet, it looks like. I could spell. Gauntlet. There we go. There's a void metal one too. Oh, void here. I didn't realize that. Um, so, Thaumium, Enchanted, nothing too crazy. I do need to do the research. I had a feeling... Uh, part of me is like, maybe I should just do the creative thing to unlock all the research, but then part of me is like, I don't want, like, flux or the, I don't want, like, those annoying side effects from doing stuff that I don't, like, I don't need that unlock, so I don't want to take the, the stuff. Um, what am I trying to do? Augmentation. There we go. All right. Thaumium plate, V resonator, enchanted fabric. And then we can do that. So, yeah, let me craft up a bunch of... I'll probably do, like, half a stack of Thaumium. And we'll get going. Ectoplasmum, we should have plenty. Get it from a mob farm somewhere. I don't know what mob is dropping it, but we're getting it. And then... That, yeah. Okay, so there is our Thaumium Caster's Gauntlet. I don't have any foci in it. I haven't actually done that. And, oh, I forgot to craft up the stuff. And there. Oh, I need to add this some more. The crystals in there. All right, that was kind of annoying. <laughs> it's because they're capped. So when I pulled one out, it was it's like they kept shifting. All right, cool. Uh, so we got that, and we got some more thomium. I'll take it. Next, discover a tear in the fabric of space time and activate it with your newly acquired goblet that has the thing. Attached. Okay, I've never actually done this before. Do I need to put the thing in there? All right. Uh, I need to go find a rift or something. Apparently. All right. So let's go see if I have more rifts spawning from that thing over here. We see one anywhere? Nope, oh, we do. So what do I do? Right click? Just right click. I wanna like stand in it. <laughs> uh, craft a, and now I'll charge the, by right clicking on a rift, it, the power will be drawn into the glove. You need to remove the thing, warning if you do blah blah blah. Uh, I may need to possibly do research, maybe. No, I forgot to... Dang it. I don't know if that actually matters. All right. Uh, for some reason, I don't have... I was like, what is that? Uh, for some reason, I don't have some of these crafts done. I don't know if that is what's causing me to not get that. So let's do that. And then let me do that really quick. All right. I did a bit more unlocking of things. I finished that, finished that. I opened up further Oromancy studies, which was locked behind that quest. Or that, I don't know, are they quests? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I am kind of thinking maybe I should just do the the thing and then deal with the effects. I don't know. I just really don't like the effects. All right. 
So I I do see like maybe not. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just wasn't close enough. All right. I don't know. Is it working? <laughs> I can't tell. I mean, it's it's doing. S oh, it's disappearing. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. Apparently, that causes temporary warp. So, all right. We got a very weak thing. That's uh that's a long time. So discover a tear in the fabric space time and activate it with your newly acquired oh, that, that is a uh, blah blah blah. Uh do we need to fill this up more? Is I guess that's my And does this craft okay, let me just make sure I might want to since this is so long, I'll just in here i probably could maybe drink milk or something like that to make it go away but i don't know uh all right before you do the following make sure you have a yep there are tears in space time that are pretty difficult to notice without an external two and they seem to be a common than another all right but this invention will let you locate them it'll brighten up if you get close to and face towards the tear time to spin around the nether like it's a breakdance all right so I do that. Do I have to hold it. I don't know. Let me. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Let me. Let me wait for this to break down, and then uh, I'll go in the Nether and see if we can find something. And then I'm assuming we activate it with this gauntlet. Uh, I don't know the very weak thing. Not entirely sure if that matters, but we will see. All right. That. Uh, took a little bit of time because this was actually hidden. I was flying around and I got to around here. As you can see, the thing like lights up and I was flying like back and forth and I realized it was like if I went forward, it would turn off kind of thing. So I was like, well, it's either down below or up above. And, uh, it is, in fact, up here. So there is this dimensional fracture. Now, I'm assuming we kind of just... I don't know. I haven't done anything with it. I don't know if you need to charge up this thing. I should probably... Uh, fracture. And I cannot type... Oh, I thought those were those mushrooms that make you, like, poisoned, which are really annoying. Uh, also, yeah, void stone. I don't know if we're going to need this. Um, but that is a pretty clear indication there is a fracture. So, right-click. All right. So we kind of, like, feed it. Right. Are we opening up? Do I need to feed it more? Is it still doing it? I don't know. Uh, do I... <laughs> do I go in it? Yep, enter the darkness. Alright, I'm, I'm nervous. Not gonna lie. Hopefully I can get back out. I just did a backup, so... Also, maybe it was a bad idea to... Break all the floor. All right, there we go. That one. Oh, there we go. That one we couldn't place. So, are we log. We are. All right. So it does look like there is a way back out. Portal. All right. Hello. Let me 
jump up here. Oh, there's tons of void stone. I don't need to worry about that. All right, so I'm assuming that's where we're going next. Upgrade a quarter stack of void stones to eldritch stones. All right, that's that's a thing. Um, find an eldritch spire structure in the emptiness and raid it. You'll need to find four key pieces hidden throughout the dungeon. It's on the main tower to progress. <laughs> that I don't know if that's actually it though. Didn't it say like spire? I don't really see spires. Oh, it's it's actually logging. Okay. This is bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh man, not this. I hope this isn't as bad as the other one with the hidden. Jesus is big. All right, we're gonna have to do this next episode. I may do some of it, at least kind of get an idea of what's going on, because these do take quite a few hours. At least that other one, that last one. That last one, it might have been the time before. That one with the like the hidden the hidden doors or whatever that I could never find. That took forever. Alright, but we'll have to do this next episode. So anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching and a good one.